And ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do another video. We're going to do um, uh, Burget Sneaky Hands for Teeth. This is the question. So we, first, we go Upper Juno and we talk to uh, Guslam. Guslam is in the Armory store. So once we talk to him, he's going to talk to us about about some some hands in in in, uh, in the boy. So we're gonna go with the boy, and we're gonna farm the key. This is the location of the boy, and this is how, where you wanna go the, uh, to go and farm the key. So once you're going to the boy, and this is the exit four. So you're gonna go to exit four, and exit four you kill everything in there. Everything drop the key. So for our good luck, we found uh, Orsis Dragon. Uh, they are level 70s and something so yeah they are not really so hard like you can if you are a low level you can go with a party of, of five and you can get this done but uh, if you, you, you don't um, you don't have that you just ask help to a beast master and beast master going solo I think for you in no time beast master are very useful in the game so if you wanna have a question what's the best class to level up is this master so there's no over there because i i only have seen a beast master solo and stuff like that you know i saw a dragoon one time but i think that he was cheating yeah i don't think that he that's that it is real i don't think so i would like to send it to gn and see if that's real but anyway so we uh we killed the the dragon horses and you farm everything in there and drop the key. It's very dangerous, be careful. Everything's aggro. The aggro uh, side, so you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need invisible, in, uh, invisible parts only. You don't need the sneaky ones, so. So you can kill them. Eh? Muerte. So, now we got the key. We got the key, so now now we need to go and change to our class and come back and come back to uh, uh to the monster cabin. So this is the location of all the the coffers you can find it, and we found ours right there. So this is one of the things that you need to be careful. Like even though nothing is seeing you, it might be there is a wall and some some monster is behind that wall is gonna see you. Because they can see through walls, so you need to be careful. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Like there is nothing behind me, right? And suddenly it has something hit me. Like what? Wait a minute, what? And then he's there. He's there. He's aggro me already. But uh, Thief is, is a very amazing thing because he has uh, his two hours. You just don't get any damage, which is very useful. And we have, uh, since I got the, 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 the feet, the feet piece, I can run more than a normal, normal, uh, if I use my skill to run, I just go, uh, it go, uh, better. So it's, it's kind of better. So I keep running and running and running. Really, when I was doing, when I was doing this, my heart was beating so hard. I'm like, I don't know where to go because you cannot open the map, you know, because it's time, you know, so you're going to lose some time. You don't want to do that. See, so, but uh, I mean, my, my two hours is, is they're amazing. Uh, but I'm too far from them now. So the only thing that I was, I was worrying about is like, where am I going to go? And I was myself, I think I'm going to die. This is the end for me. I, 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 there's nothing more. I'm gonna freaking die. And when, where do I go? Where do I go? I was so desperate now because I didn't want it to die. Since, since to get uh, experience for thief is very hard. You know, you cannot find parties and all that. And this is one of the things that yeah, I like it because look, he's not looking. If, if he sees me and he attacks me, he kills me. Together with this guy too, he kills me too. But he didn't see me, so I saved my own behind in there. It was kind of like a critical moment for me, right? And I, I felt like my heart actually started beating hard. Like, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to lose experience. I need most experience. And so, so now we say we so. So once we um, once we done opening, we want to go back to Guslam. If it's good to be alive, <laughs> we'll go back to Guslam again. And uh, and uh, we talked to him. He was like, "Oh, I cannot do shit 
You want to talk to? I cannot do anything. He's gonna be. He's gonna go to uh, talk to. Uh, what's his name? This girl, uh, Jim Poka Pukaku. We're gonna go to talk to Jim Pukaku. She's in the in the Neptune Spire, in the Tensholo Clan. Uh, I don't know headquarters. So we come over here. What? We go through the door. <coughs> So, she's gonna be in the bottom, she's a cat, I think she's a thief as well, like, uh, she's from the clan, I think the thief, so just there you are in front of us. So, in the quest it says that you need to, you need to, uh, trade in one, one, 1k, but it doesn't, it's not like that, you just talk to her, and that's, that's all you need to know. Because I tried to trade him and he didn't, he didn't take my money, so. So now after that, we're gonna go to Port Juno. Is in the auction house in the bottom. This is the location. So here we're gonna look for a, a question mark on some old boxes. So we're gonna we're gonna click on it, and Burger is gonna appear to us. He's a ghost, by the way. He's gonna give us the key item, and now. Now that we have the key item, we need to go and kill uh, the bomb. Dark Spark is his name. So Dark Spark is our next target. So we're gonna have to go to Saskabar. So this is the map of Saskabar, and this is the direction where you have to go. You have to go to Castles, Castles Vale. Uh, and then once you, you once you are inside, this is the way where you are gonna go. to say dark park, dark park touch. So what, what, once we are there, we are gonna go and uh, look for the. That's the location right there. One of those torch is the one that is gonna bring a dark park out to fight. So we're gonna click it. That part is is kind of dangerous if you are low level, but if you are not. It's okay. So that's why explodes as well so too. So you need to be careful. And that's why your trace is horrible, really, for real. Like it took me a couple of minutes to have it, like to keep it with me. I mean, it was like a I couldn't remove it. So well, I decided to stay away because my heat point was low, and so I did. You know what? I don't think that I can I can you know fight him. So I, I was kind of trying, but. He really didn't do anything, so. Man, it's so hot in here. Take a shower. This fight is not really exciting, though, but the only exciting thing that happened here, when I when I got here, it was a dark element. element and so I start killing all the all the elementals in this area, man. And I made I made like maybe like a 40k in in just in a cluster. So it, this this place is amazing to find clusters. Like you can make like maybe maybe um I don't know. Like if you are this master, you can get a lot of them, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of cluster and sell them. No, they sell for like 4k each one. So uh, I got lucky. Most of them they drop too. So I made I made a, I made a good money. This is pretty good money here. To get to this place is kind of like fire too. I mean, the first time that I came over here, I died because I was low level thirty something, and so I was I was a white mate, so I had a free sneak and free invisible. So, so the the what's the name the uh, the goblins are like horrible because they walk very fast. So, if you stop to cast you. Uh, sneak and invisible and they kill you so anyway the the, um, the fight is not really hard it's just me uh, losing some point, hit points because of bio 3 because that's what he do at, at, in the beginning because he can he can see what you class and what you what you have and he knows that I don't have way image so that's why he put bio on, on me and he's, he's, he's a red mage he has Bio 3, like uh, the only one that can't have Bio 3 is Red Mage. 
as well. Like, but that's a that's a merit, a merit uh, spell. So you have to actually. So well, he's almost dead, and he is dead. And he said, don't forget to click on the lamp once he's defeated, because if you don't and you live without clicking on it and get the key item, you will have to do the fight again. So now we're going to go back to Lord Juno. So now so we're Juno, we're going to click in the same, in the same, what? Wait, okay, so it's on the other side. So you're going to go to the other side and click on it. This is easy. Uh, habitat. So when I click on it, for this mission it was it was supposed to be like a waiting one day to get the uh, the, the hands, but I, I, this time I didn't I didn't have to because for some reason um, Horizon is being kind. So so when we got our hands, peace, congratulations, and good luck. I see you in the next video. Bye.